Life is a winding road. No telling where it goes. Hey guys, Amber here with the Meeple family, and I'm super excited to talk to you about an awesome game coming to Kickstarter in May. So today I'm going to be talking about the game Camouflage. This is definitely a filler group game. It is also a great family game, and it comes with a solo variant. So I'm going to be kind of going through all that today, and I was kind of trying to decide how I wanted to talk about this game. And in my mind, if I am going to kickstart something, I really want to envision how the game plays and how the game works and if I can see it on my table. So today I'm gonna to be walking you through all the different ways you can play camouflage and hopefully give you a better idea of if this game is a good fit for you, maybe as a solo variant, for your family or your gaming table in general. So this game comes from Three Nails Games and they reached out to me just to do a quick review. I think because this game checks so many of my boxes, it's a great filler game, it's great for families, and it also offers a solo component, which is really important to me. I like games to have a lot of versatility and this is actually their second game that they're bringing to Kickstarter. So I will put a link down in the description and you can head over to their Kickstarter page if you wanna follow along or even back this game. So Camouflage is a game that plays one to seven players. It takes about five minutes to play and they recommend it for eight and up, although my kindergartner, who's about five and a half, was able to play with us, though not as quickly and not as competitively, he still benefited greatly from the game and we had a lot of fun playing it together. What I'm gonna be showing you today in this video is a prototype, so things can definitely change, but this is gonna give you a great overall idea of how this game works and if it's a good fit for you and your home. Some things I really liked about Cam Camouflage. First off, it's super easy to get to the table and it's really easy to teach. That is a huge plus in my book all the time, every time. This also allows up to seven people, but I would definitely say the sweet spot is somewhere between two and six. A lot of the game variants we're gonna talk about today cater more towards that six and under group, but there is an option to play with up to seven. I also really like that, you know, when you have a group, uh, there can be games where it's just like really long to play because you're, there's so many of you and you know, maybe you're just like waiting and waiting and waiting for your turn to come around. What I like about camouflage and it's kind of a great filler game is that everyone is playing at once. So you're not just sitting there waiting for your turn, you're actively playing the whole time. And I really, really like group games like that. So that is definitely something that camouflage checks for me. So as I stated earlier, this is a really great filler game, but it's also a great family game. I am a huge advocate of using board games and card games to enhance my kids' education and their developmental skills. So this one in particular, because it has to do with matching and patterns, is great for my kindergartner, but also my older kids. That visual acuity is so important in practicing those brain muscles, especially in a timed environment where they're really having to concentrate and decide what things match and what things will work and what things won't in that high pressure environment really exercises those muscles. And I definitely saw that with my kids. We had a lot of fun playing it and it's a great family game overall. And I think because it is so easy to get out, it just seems like it would hit the table more often because it's like, if you feel like, oh, let's play a quick game, this would definitely be one you could just get out play a couple rounds, put it away, and you've played a game for the day. And it's just really, really simple, like I said, to get to the table. And typically those simple games that are easy to get to the table are the ones you get to the table more often. And lastly, this has a great solo component, which we'll dive into exactly how all those things work. And I'll try to put timestamps down below. So if you wanna skip around to uh, the areas that are most important to you, you can do that as well. So I'm gonna be going through just a general overview of the different ways you can play camouflage. The overall concept of it is really simple. You're taking these cards and you're matching patterns and you're overlapping cards that have the same pattern. It's really, really simple and that's what makes it so easy to get to the table. So as you can see, these are what the cards look like in the game. Again, this is a prototype, things may change, but this will give you a general overview of how the game works. So the cards have these patterns and in the middle there is an animal. There are seven different sets of animals and each set consists of six cards. 
that is what will develop your hand. So each player will pick their animal. So if I have the giraffe, I will get all six giraffe cards and my goal will be to play all of my cards as quickly as possible. So maybe you're looking at these cards and like me, you have a loved one that is colorblind. Fear not because the publisher and author of this game made these cards double-sided. So there is another side and this doesn't have to just be for colorblind. Uh, this can be for anyone. Maybe you prefer to play with the jewel or you prefer the patterns. We played with both sides and I thought they were both really fun. So that's just another option you have with this game. So let's start by talking about the six player variants of this game. There's three different ways you can play this game that work for two to six players. So that is kind of the core uh, sweet spot of this game. So we're gonna break down the different options you have and kind of how this game works. So the first option you have is simply a speed round. So like I said, everyone is gonna have their set of six animal cards. Now remember, the game comes with seven, so you're gonna not be using one deck. And that deck that sits out, you're gonna form a base or like a foundation of your pattern. And the whole group can participate in this and decide how they want those three cards in the foundation to look. Once that foundation is built, everyone will have three cards in their hand and three cards face down. They'll begin playing and actively always having three cards in their hand. So as you play a card, you'll refill your hand. And the goal is in the speed round to get out of your cards as quickly as possible. So the first player to get out of their six animal cards wins the game. It's as easy as that. Another variant of the game is called Diversify. Now Diversify is a little bit different because you're actually gonna be winning by points. So once the first player player has gone out of all of their six cards, it will initiate a countdown timer. Now you can decide how long you want this countdown to be. So when the first player goes out, the remaining players will have a minute or 30 seconds or maybe no extra time at all to play their remaining cards. So scoring in Diversify works like this. Each card is worth points based on how many different cards are below its overlapping squares. And the last option for that range of two to six players is cover some ground. Now this one is unique because most of the time when you're playing camouflage, you have to overlap three of your squares, but in cover some ground, you only have to overlap two. The advantage of this is you may be able to play through your deck quicker, initiating that countdown timer for the rest of the players. But to score points in cover some ground, each square is worth points based on how many squares it is overlapping. So if you choose to only cover up two squares in order to get through your deck faster, you may be cheating yourself out of some points along the way. So the games we just talked about all work for two to six players. Now let's talk about the variant that is three to seven players. In this one, everyone will get their own animal deck. So again, remember that's six cards each. You'll then take one card from your animal deck and place it face up in front of you. Each player then shuffles the five remaining cards in their possession face down and will draw a hand of three cards. Anytime a player plays a card, they may draw another card, so they always have a maximum of three cards. When you're ready to start, the rules of the game allow you to only play on your opponent's cards. You are not allowed to play on your own card in front of you. When one of the players has played all of their cards, their location becomes frozen and no one may play on their location. So the longer it takes you to get out of your deck, uh, the less places you're gonna have to play. As other people go out, you cannot play on their locations. As in the other games we talked about, the first player to go out can initiate that countdown timer. Again, that countdown amount can be decided by the group that you're playing with. The instructions suggest maybe a minute, 30 seconds, whatever you prefer, or no time at all, and just call the game right when that first person goes out. So in order to win this variant, the player that has the least amount of cards played in their location is the winner. And the last thing I want to talk to you about in regards to camouflage is the solo variant. So when I was playing the solo variant, it very much reminded me and people came to my mind 
that I know that love to do puzzle books. That is what this reminded me of. So people I know that love to do like crosswords or uh, word searches or Sudoku books, those are the kind of people I think that would really gravitate towards the solo component in this game. This is basically what makes up the solo component of the game. There are so many of these little puzzles and basically you pick one and on the puzzle, it tells you what cards you need in order to make this image. So this is all you're looking at and you will gather up your cards and you're gonna try to replicate this image. When you think you have it right, you're just gonna flip it over and it's gonna tell you where those animals should be in the puzzle and how they should be oriented in the puzzle. This will let you know if you won that puzzle or not. Well, thank you guys so much for watching. I really enjoyed making this video and overviewing the game Camouflage with you. Like I said, I'm going to put a link down in the description to the Camouflage Kickstarter, which launches in May. If you think this would be a great filler game, family game, or solo game, you can back them over on Kickstarter. I hope you guys liked this video. Be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe. Life is a winding road No telling where it goes